And we're back. Funny how I farted in time with the loading sound. So I'm not sure. Well. Okay, this is a like second city. It's not a sub form, it's just a regular city. It's called Fortan. For squids only! Yeah, and this part remember in the thread the discussion thread where I said like there's a squid in this game that you can ride on? Oh yeah, later on you can ride the squid and then you can just get through the part. The back to back match up here. Okay, this guy, he's like, what's the color of the ball in my fool's hand? And if you get it right, yeah, I got it right. Like, it's completely random, by the way. You get a potion. If you get it wrong, you lose a potion. It's basically like gambling. Or like the. the you know, the gamble corners. I, I forgot how you call it. In Pokemon. Okay. All hair random wood bowl sculpture thingy. I want to go to Candy Island. Shout out to... Flapjack. Oh, hell, the virtual boys. What do you mean that stupid slink of wood? Sorry there, a little interrupting. Anyway, this is a little neat easter egg. If you're really closely... Smash Mouth. It's a dancing, singing lizard. That sings all stars. But only, he only sings so much. Okay, what I have to do is fall through this panel. Yeah, the panel not a floor. And it flips. And I end up in a sewer. Or I'm just gonna stay underwater. Like this is a water city, kind of. Okay, this is a little dungeon without any enemies. Yep, no enemy. Okay, this is a healing point. And this is a revive. Now I'm gonna need that revive for this battle because it's pretty annoying. I'm gonna save here. I got the gotta go boy. What? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my attack because the fraction slash is only good for like when there's a bunch of enemies on the screen. Because it's it has it attacks multiple enemies. And it's weak when you only attack one. So what I'm gonna do is do sleep tornadoes. You make him dizzy, and then you like you won't be able to attack him. So I'm just gonna back. For some reason this guy always gets critical. This guy always get always gets critical hits. Use my or my inability to talk English correctly. Going pretty good so far. Pretty well.
about my English thing. Like, I'm American, but I live in Brazil, so I've been here for so long that I, I kind of like got used to more to Portuguese than English. It's kind of sad. What I like to do is to keep heal healing. I like to keep healing. Just in case something happens. Well, I'll explain. Like, he has an attack that makes, like, it hits everybody, and it makes everybody confused. But, like, it rarely hits everybody. It hits more one person than everybody. Oh, well, yeah, that's a really dangerous attack because, like, the characters, they do a lot of damage. And imagine all that damage going to you. So I like to keep my characters as healed as possible. And just fight. And I'm so sorry if like it's hard, it's difficult to hear my voice, or it's like difficult to hear my mispronunciations. I I really hope that you can excuse me, please. Anyways, yeah, we defeated the boss again and surprisingly surprisingly I'm actually shocked that I could beat that boss in one try. But anyway, I got ink. Ink is so important. Totally, right? Yeah, it's important because we're gonna have to use that at a special place. Similar to the Red Reviver, you have to use the item. Also, excuse the interruption sometimes, like, somebody will interrupt. Back to back, it's spinning all the time. Okay, I have, I'm not sure if you noticed this before, but this isn't an ink fountain. It's not full. So what I have to do. Ink got, got full. No, the ink fountain got full. Sorry. And another squid. Is it going to attack me? Is it going to attack me? No, it's going to allow me to ride on we're gonna see this magic at the next part. 